What up, B-Squad? It is your boy, JB, and I am here today with late reviews, but we're here. This is the review for Sisters on BT Season 5, Episode 10, you guys. So, the episode title, Discretion, is key. Before we get into it, if you guys are watching this video or any other on the channel and you guys aren't subscribed yet, do me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning your post notifications on, and sharing the video. And with that out of the way, without further ado, let's discuss sisters, shall we? All right, you guys, so I'm sorry that this video is late. Um, the reason why this, this video and the oval is late is because I actually, I was meant to do everything yesterday, which was Wednesday, right? But we had an office Christmas party and it was from one to four and I had a good time. You guys, you know, got this little hood, you know, got this hoodie from there. It's very snug. We have food. They gave away gifts. We dranky drank. So it was a good time. So yeah, that's why the Oval and everything didn't come yesterday. The Oval, Sisters, all that kind of stuff. So we're here today with that stuff. So this episode, we open up. You guys remember the last episode left off with Andy and the fact that Andy was went down to the jail to see Sabrina, right? So remember, the prosecutor came in there to see Andy and Danny. He knows that Andy is not, you know, a criminal attorney. He knows that Danny is not a paralegal and he's telling him that they both should leave, right? Before he turns them in. So Danny was talking to Sabrina and Sabrina was like, you know, you know I wouldn't do this. And Danny was like, yeah. So they're both saying, you know, Maurice is just going to tell them that he, you know, that, you know, it's not true. <sighs> I just wonder where we're going with this storyline with Danny, Sabri well, Sabrina and Maurice. I wonder where we're going because you would have, I mean, yes, you have that recording, but you don't have anything that literally links them to orchestrating the crime. And again, I asked the question, why would they rob their own bank? But it is what it is, right? So Danny didn't tell Sabrina that Logan knew about it. And, you know, she's like, well, you have to tell him that I didn't do this. Danny was like, girl, I already tried that and it did not work, right? So she also tells her like, hey, so Calvin got $20,000 for bail for you. So Andy came back in and got Danny says, we have to go. We have to go. So then we move over to Aaron and Karen. Aaron and Karen, you guys, really get on my last nerves. If it's not one, it's the other. So they're having dinner. Karen didn't know that Aaron could cook because, you know, he always comes with, you know, takeout, right? So she apologizes to him. He says, oh, no, it's fine. So she says, why are you always so patient with me? He says, because I love you and love is patient. I was just like, oh, Aaron. Like, I don't dislike Aaron. I, I feel like Zach, and later in this episode, like, I don't hate Aaron. It's just some certain, certain things with Aaron is just like, why? Why would you put up? My question with Aaron is, why do you put up with this shit with Karen? You know that Karen is very much so still in love with Zach, and I just don't understand why he puts up with it. But it ain't got nothing to do with me, right? So she tells him, you know, that she's going to be going to the doctor t t next day. So that way she can get an ultrasound so that, you know, she can match up her timeline with whatever the doctor says. And I'm like, your timeline in your timeline, you automatically know that Zach is the father of this baby, but you don't know that 100 percent. So then she says, you know, she asked him, so what if this baby isn't yours? I'll love it either way. I was like, oh, God. OK, don't care. But we're going to pause here and move forward. So we see Andy and Danny. So they're driving around, right? So Andy is telling Danny about the prosecutor that, you know, she had went up against him in a, in a divorce case and she got him for a lot, right? So she feels like he is doing this to get back at her. So Danny was like, well, why don't you call up, you know, um, Robin? She's like, well, Robin's been an asshole to me too. Dan was like, look here, Andy, either you fuck him or you fuck him. I don't give a damn which one you want to do. I was like, eh, you're pimping your friend out to get your other friend out of jail. Cool. 
So then we see Zach. So Zach got home and Fatima was there, right? So he's, he's at, you know, he asked Fatima, you know, what's going on? Well, actually, she asked him. Now, in this episode, you guys, so I guess we're not going to be seeing Jake anymore, right? Because this episode, we mentioned Bryce. So Bryce has pl taken the place of Jake. Jake from State Farm. So we won't be seeing Jake anymore. So it's interesting because you guys remember with Zatima, I, ha I have been asking that for a while. Like, where did Bryce come from when we have Jake over here on Sister? So he, meant, he made mention to Bryce in this episode. So Bryce is, now here's the interesting thing about Bryce. Like, here's, here's the interesting, so the guy who plays Bryce, if you guys are not familiar with him, He's actually a soap opera. He actually acts on a soap too. He acts on, he's on Days of Our Lives. He plays a character by the name of Lee Shin. And Lee is a big character right about now because he's engaged to this young lady. Her name is Gabby Hernandez. And they're supposed to be getting married pretty soon. So he has a very, he has a big role on Days of Our Lives. So I wonder how is that gonna work out, right? But hey, it is what it is. So Jake, no, Bryce, and um, and Zach went to go look at a house that they think that they're gonna buy, right? So then Fatima says she needs to talk to Zach about Heather. So she tells him that you know you might want to get a good lawyer because Heather, she is with. I saw her with Hayden, and I think we need to put a pause on the wedding. So that's really all it is. I know somebody left in the comment section last week that, you know, I think we all are on the same page when it comes to the Hayden situation. Hayden and Heather, I think Hayden might have set this up, but you guys know I haven't finished as a team, so I don't really 100% know when the DNA, I know, now I know how the DNA results were done. I know that Fatima swapped the baby's cheeks and took a, and took a sample from Zach, but she's the one that ran that test. So how would, I don't know. This is Silas Perry's world, so anything can happen. So let's pause here and move forward. So next up, you guys, we see as Andy and as um, Sabrina, nope, not Sabrina, Sabrina's in jail. We see as Andy and Danny make it over to Karen's house, right? So Karen wants to know where Sabrina is, and Andy was like, mm -mm, no. Danny was like, are you good? And she's like, yeah, I'm, I feel like myself. She says, okay, well, then Sabrina's in jail. She's like, wait, what? So they tell her, right? So much like with... Um, now, see, here's my thing. Y'all really want to use um, Robin for his, y'all just, just going to use him up like a, a whale. So they want Andy to call Robin up, right? So Andy says she has other contacts. And then Karen is telling them that she's going to go to the doctor the next day for the ultrasound. And she wants both, you know, Andy and Karen. Um, Danny there. Danny's like, you want me there? Me. She's like, yeah, I want both of y'all there. So they were asking her the what if questions. Like, so what if this isn't Zach's baby? She says, you know, if it's not, the letter's helped. And I was like, girl, that letter helped you. You were still pissed off. Okay, Karen, girl. If that's what you want to say, go ahead and say so, right? So while they're sitting there talking, Robin called Andy and they were like, girl, answer the phone. She's like, no. And uh, Danny was like, Sabrina's in jail. She's like, oh, okay, yeah. So she goes and answers this. So Robin says that he wants to talk to her about business. And then he says, no, I don't. So he does say, I can't help your friend. But then he wants to apologize to her. And is not really receptive to this apology. So then she hung up with him. Gary was on the phone. Now, I'm still so confused about this. I have never saw, I mean, they're playing basketball at night. Parks are closed at night. What kind of park can you go to to play? Okay. Because uh, it looks like it's late at night. Like, it looks like it's late, late, late at night. But hey, again, we're in Tyler's world. So let's just roll with the punches. So Gary wants to see Andy. You know, you guys know how Andy is. She plays coy at first, but then she says, okay, well, you go to my apartment. I want you in my bed and I want you naked. And I'm going to tell the bellman to buzz you up. Y'all know how I feel about Andy and this. Uh, Andy, 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 forever the bird. That's all I got to say about Andy. Andy is forever a damn bird, right? 
So then we move over to the basketball court, right? So you, you guys know Gary getting ready to leave. Zach pulls up. Gary tries to talk to Zach, and Zach was like, ah, ah, don't talk to me. So then Aaron is there. So Zach was like, and I don't want you on my team. And then who else walks up but Hayden? Hayden says, and I don't want you on my team. He was like, what the hell? So then Zach and Hayden got into it. And I'm just like, hey, the thing with – now, here's my thing when it comes to Tyler and Hayden. So, Tyler, I really want you to explain to me the significance of this storyline with Hayden, right? So we finna just spell it out. We just finna spell it out, and I'm finna ask you guys, does it make sense? And I know I'm in Tyler Perry's world, but even even if you just listen to what I'm saying, it makes no sense. So Hayden had a had a little tryst with Fatima. Fatima didn't like him. So Zach got with him. He's Hayden because Zach is with Fatima, and Fatima don't want to get with him. So he's doing all of this shit to mess with Zach. Okay, so if you put Zach in prison, that doesn't mean that Fatima's going to be like, oh my God, Zach is in prison. Let me go sleep with Hayden. She doesn't want you. So you get Zach out of her life. How does that help you? Inquiring minds just want to know, how does that help him? What are you, so, and I'm, 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 say, I'm saying this out loud for Tyler. Let's just say you write Zach into prison. How, what, what, what's going to be next for Hayden? Fatima's going to rock with, with Zach while he's in prison. However long it takes him to get out, she would rock. We know Fatima would rock with him. So I don't understand the storyline. Make it make sense. And I'm so glad that, you know, because Hayden was golden Zach. And I'm so glad that Zach just didn't play into the bullshit that Hayden was trying to get him to play into. I'm so glad that Zach was like, forget you, man. And he left. Aaron tried to break it up, and I, I thought it was so funny. I thought it was funny when Zach was like, I hate you, but you so nice to me, and I like you a little bit more than I did before. So then, you know, Zach was leaving, going to the car. He says, and let that love in, Zach. Did y'all see that fool when he ran to the car screaming, leave me alone? I was like, oh, my God. Hilarious. But um, let's pause here, you guys, and let's move forward. All right, you guys, so actually we're just going to go ahead and wrap up the episode. So you guys remember, Andy was outside talking to Robin on the phone. While she's outside talking to Robin on the phone, Danny is inside giving um, Karen the lowdown, spilling the tea on it. Excuse me, y'all. She's spilling the tea on Andy, Robin, Gary, all the likes, right? The fact that she's sleeping with Gary so that Gary don't sue her. Mm, Andy, girl, you're playing a dangerous ass game, but okay, if that's what you want to do. Knock yourself out. So then, um, you guys, where we at? So since Danny's put her tea. I was not talking to you, dumbass. I wasn't talking to you. Okay. So, what was I? What was I talking about, you guys? Hmm. What was I talking about? Oh, wow. Danny was spilling Andy's tea. Danny, Andy came in this field. Danny's tea about, what is his name again, you guys? We got Logan. Jonah. She spilled the tea about Jonah. And, you know, for, Danny let it slip. Her girl, Fatima, was listening to us. She said that it would be, Karen was like, yo, girl, Fatima. I was like, oh, shit. Karen said she wasn't mad. I'm like, girl, you not mad? That ain't mad? Oh, okay, girl. You could have fooled me. So then Andy and Danny, they left, right? So Danny got home. Preston was there. You guys know I like Danny and Preston, but I just, I get tired of the back and forth with Danny and Preston. Preston tells Danny that he, you know, he wants her to show him how to love her. And I'm like, okay. She says that there's one minute where she wants to be with him and the next minute she don't. One minute she wants to love, one minute she doesn't, she wants to be alone. Danny, make up your mind what you want, girl. Next minute, she, you know, she's talking about a hot girl summer. You don't know what a hot girl summer is. I don't give a damn. So to wrap up, Karen. Karen called down to the salon asking Pam, hey, did you, you know, did you, did you turn off the curlers? Did you do this? Did you do that? Right, Karen? Um, Pam says, I did it. I really want, I really want her to go see an acting coach because it is so bad. When she, now, see, I don't, Karen and Pam weren't on the speakerphone, but that man said, I, I turned everything off. Mind you, he did not turn everything off 
because there's a curler that is on. I'm like, oh, God, if Karen Salam burns to the ground, we ain't going to hear the end of this. And then Aaron, oh, God, we definitely not going to hear the end of it from Aaron on Aaron's behalf. Jesus. Because Aaron came to the house and we let her go down there to check on the salon. I was like, oh, my God. If that salon catches on fire, we are not going to hear the end of that story. But that's it, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notifications on and share the video, you guys. And until next time, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Be blessed. Wash your hands. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.